Hey y'all, what's up? I figured I'd do a quick video introducing what I'm doing to the Ford right now. Sorry, I haven't been able to record that much. My phone has like no space at all, so I'm trying to do this quick. As y'all can see, the old cab's completely stripped. All that's in it's the wiring. I gotta get some tape to label that, but label all the stuff, pull the headliner and the rear view mirror and the uh, visors out and pull the windows and they'd be stripped, so. What I'm doing is I already got it all. Cab mounts and everything all out. I picked up the cab, slid it forward a little bit on both sides. I walked it forwards. Kind of a pain by yourself, but I got it done. But it's getting pulled off. I'm going to get sandblasted. Maybe. Depends. If I can afford to get up all the sandblasting stuff. Just a decent little one. I ain't worried about nothing huge. Like a dust of sandblast or nothing like that. But, uh. Yeah, it's gonna get taken all down. I may do the frame too if I get a sandblaster. I'll sandblast the frame, sandblast the bed. But uh, I'll go ahead and get ready to show you all some more insight on this rust and everything here. Give me a second. Gotta move stuff out of the way. You're probably going to see some of the tools and be like, what the heck are you using that for? Like a little rusty wrench. I moved almost everything on my tools to dad's. Because I got a new project coming up that y'all are going to have to see. But y'all will enjoy it. Especially you Chevy guys. But. There's a tunnel there. But, uh. You can't really see the rust on that kicker panel of the floor over there at all. But over here, y'all, this isn't, this isn't nothing. This ain't much at all compared to what's there. Give y'all a little bit of insight here. I don't know if y'all can see that well, but I grab a light. Got all my pin lights at that, so I'm having to use these old drop lights out of the old uh, barn, the other barn over there. I know if everything's a mess over here. I need to pick up. It's been kind of going, so yeah. As y'all can see, them cab supports right there, completely eight, both sides. And it's nothing. The supports underneath, the structure of it, they're completely gone. The floor underneath this level, or not level, but under this, it's all laid up. So, I'm not gonna, either, if I can't afford sandblast, I'll just use a grinder and a flap wheel and take it down. It'll take a lot more time and be a lot harder, but save me a lot of money in the long run. I got a bunch of time here lately, so why not? I need to get a good camera. May get a couple GoPros, I don't know. Something with a decent camera I can actually set up places and show y'all what I'm doing. So, as y'all can see, I started getting some of the rust spots down up here. Started getting all this old glue off. I need to get one of them uh, little driller grinder attachments. Some little orange wheels that takes down the glue and it don't... Because where the flap wheel hits it and it tries to go over it for like glue and stuff like that. I need to get one of them wheels for all the old weather stripping glue. And the old sealant and... Body seam sealer, so yeah, it's been busy, 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 busy. See if I can turn y'all around, show you what's going on right here. Crap, guess I can't. So, I'll just show you right here, you get the transmission out. That thing's pretty heavy, it ain't that heavy, but 150 probably plus pounds. It's cast iron, or some parts of it, and obviously the case isn't, but. Carrying it from the mud all the way through, probably about 30 feet in the mud. It's kind of a pain by yourself. Got the old heads, crank. Taking the heads, I checked them with a couple different straight edges just, just to make sure they were true. It is, the heads are. I take them to a machine shop, have new valve guides put in, then I'll put valves, stuff like that in. The crank, it's getting sent off. It needs sent off or I'll just buy a new one. I don't know what I want to do yet. Because I got that old FE. 360 but i don't know them fe's are high and parts are getting so scarce anymore i may just get a 460 something like that throat build mild obviously this thing ain't for horsepower nothing like that it's just mostly for good torque for pulling stuff like that and it ain't going to be a workhorse at all but if i need to pull something livestock trailer or something i can i'd have to worry about it 
the cam bearings, when I took the cam out, the cam bearings had like a bridge on it to where your cam, it was like way too tight and it wouldn't want to come out. So the cam bearings had some bridges and they were messed up anyways. So that in this block, I don't know. I've had some stipulations about it. I'm kind of glad I took it apart because there's three different pistons in it, I think. I know there was a few 360, 390, four valve. I think two different rods. I don't know. It was just kind of pieced together. and I just want to get it right. Because I want to get it to where just throw this thing together and not have to worry about it and just jump in and go. So, I mean, obviously, I could just not worry about saying bust in the frame and just get this to where it'll work. But obviously, if I'm taking it apart, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Make no sense not to. So, yeah. Started getting the trim taken off. Things stripped down over here. Everything taken off. That way, I can just take it off, send it to dad's and work on it there because they have a grinder weld or stuff like that and this whole bond here at mom's at the farm it ain't i mean i have hookups for welders and everything it's just a pain i could do it but then i'd have to bring everything over here and worry about it so just take it over there and my cousin probably about five miles from dad's he does body work and everything else so he has his own body working shop if i ever needed any help or something he'd come over i'll just take it over on the trailer he wouldn't mind so Anyways, on that build, I go ahead and kind of tell y'all a little bit. It's a 79K5 Blazer. My uncle bought it brand new. It's, I mean, obviously, the body panels are shot. Floors, cab corners, rockers, bedsides, everything besides the uh, front clip on it. But it's got a 350, double hump heads, 40000 on the rebuild, but it's been sitting about 10, 15 years. You started it last year, ran it for a little while, drove it. Obviously, you can't kill a small block Chevy one over there the other day after sitting about a year, put a ratchet on it, barely had to spin it at all. But 350 double hump heads. It's got a 454 cam. It's an inch cam for some of y'all that don't know. But 454 lift cam. 454, 454 duration. So the lubs are stupid close. It's got a good old thump to it. I haven't started it yet, but I looked up the cam. It's a 292, I think. Crane extreme energy cam so true duels everything but anyways i'll give y'all a revival video my dad and i are going to completely restore it together y'all get to see that so that'll be neat completely frame off or body off everything getting redone on that so cp thanks again man that that shout out definitely helped man i think i gained quite a bit of subscribers and a bunch of views already so that I really appreciate that, man. Can't wait for the stream. So, I'm going to get this shot, get ready for your stream, and then I'll upload it later after. As y'all can see, again, I know it's a mess. It's a stupid mess over here. I need to clean up. I feel like a pig over here, but I've been gone and grabbing tools and taking them places and everything. So, got the frame painted up here anyways. Got the brake lines took off. That way, I ain't got to worry about damaging them when I pick up the cab and set it over. To get on the trailer but yeah it's a mess you get some more tools from here i had all my standard tools over here but i had to take them to dad's because again we're getting ready to do that blazer so he has tools but most of them are at work and i ain't trying to get too much of our personal life on him but about five six years ago he had some crazy x that burned all of our tools about 20 years worth so that was interesting but yeah Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.